Hey, it's Matt Kramer again, and today I want to talk to you about the biggest mistake that I made as a brand new real estate agent. It's a mistake that held me back in the beginning, and I didn't even know what it was until it had already been fixed. This is a mistake you might be making right now, because as a new agent, you're shown so many different things that you could be doing. So many different activities that other agents you see are using to grow their businesses. In the beginning, I was doing everything. I was doing all of the activities. Spent $1,500 on one mailer, which got almost no responses. And the person who did respond said they didn't mean to respond, which I don't know how you pick up a mailer, go to the website, fill out the form, and then tell me you didn't mean to respond. It seems like a lot of work to go through to unintentionally respond to it. Anyways, I'm not bitter about it though. But I had tried door knocking, I had tried mailers, I had held multiple open houses. I feel like I had tried a lot of things. And basically I was waiting for those things to work. I would try them to see if they work. And that's the wrong way to look at it. What you have to do when you find these anchor activities is you have to find what do you enjoy doing? Because it's not about what's gonna work. They all work. If you go ask an agent in your office, hey, what are you doing to generate new business? And then you walk three doors down and you ask another agent, you're probably gonna get a different answer. And those agents might both be successful. It's not about what the activity is, it's about committing to doing the activity every single day. For me, when I got started, that was a problem. I wasn't committed to doing it every single day. I was committed to testing new activities. I was gonna stick with the one that gave me the best results. I mean, think about it. If there was one activity that anybody could do as a brand new agent with absolutely no skills, they could do this one activity and magically they'd get a deal or two kicking every single day. That thing would be beat to snot and everybody would be doing it and it wouldn't be working anymore. So you have to understand, it's about building a pipeline. You're building a business here. You're not a magician. You're not coming in and doing a magic trick and walking out with a client. You have to find what is that anchor activity going to be for you. Now, I call it an anchor activity because it's the thing that anchors your business. If this activity gets done, business grows. If this activity does not get done, business declines. This is referred to as the one thing in the book, The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papazon. And I'm gonna tell you what my anchor activity was and how I nailed that down. But before I do, if you're enjoying these videos, please do me a favor, do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications and smash that like button. So for me, it ended up being prospecting, jumping on the power dialer, jumping on Vulcan 7 and calling three hours a day. Now this is going back eight, nine years at this point, but that that anchor activity, what are you gonna do every day, even when you don't feel like it? What are you gonna commit to doing, even when you're hungover, or even when you're tired, or even when it's kind of a holiday? Are you really a business owner if you haven't taken off a kind of holiday? Holidays that aren't like national holidays, but it's kind of a holiday, like one of those where you just kinda, eh, I'm not gonna work today. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm the only one who does that. Anyways, what are you gonna stick to? What are you gonna commit to? What are you going to become the master at? That's the other piece of it, I would say. Finding that anchor activity is one thing, committing to it is another, and then really mastering it, that would probably be the third part if there were three parts. So if you haven't already, let me know in the comments, how long have you been in the business and what is your anchor activity? With that, I will see you in the next video. Feel free to stick around and watch some more.